Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to show you how you can build your first AI agent in N8N, okay? If you're a beginner and you're just starting off with N8N, guys, this is the one of the best projects you can take on because AI agents are actually fairly simple and one of the most simple um, things and workflows to build actually in N8N, guys, okay? And today I'm going to show you how you can you build this super awesome mini uh, project in N8N, which essentially is a calendar AI agent. Uh, so this is essentially a chat GPT AI agent behind the scenes um, that is controlling your Google calendar. Okay. So you can chat with it and you can say something like um, what's on my agenda today. Okay. And now it's going to be accessing my Google calendar. And it's going to see what I have my agenda. So he, here it says you have no uh, event scheduled for today. So let me go and check my calendar. So today it's correct. Uh, today is the 25th and I have no events today. So tomorrow I have a 2 p.m. lunch. Okay, let me ask uh, what about tomorrow? Okay, uh, let's try that. Cool. So tomorrow you have a you have the following event scheduled lunch meeting uh, time 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, location to be dated and if I click view event, it's going to take me to a Google calendar, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, so right now I'm using a chat system directly within N8N, but you can modify it in a way that you can connect it to your uh, either Telegram or WhatsApp. So now you can chat with it directly on your WhatsApp and it's going to send you the links and everything. You can modify and change uh, your events uh, remotely from your phone, which is pretty awesome, guys. Okay, but as a beginner, we're going to stick with the chat. Okay, uh, so let's go with that. So now, for example, I want to move the meeting one hour later. Okay, and I'm going to say like... Um, Actually, I will be late. Can you move it uh, one hour later? Okay, let's do that. So guys, here it's 2 p.m. And now you're going to see it's going to move to 3 p.m. guys. Okay, let's just give it a second. And here it moved to 3 p.m. guys. I know the change was fast. Uh, you might have uh, not seen that. But what about if I want to change it to today? So you, can, you guys can actually see it visually move from here to here, which is pretty awesome. Um, changed my mind. Let's move uh, as let's move it uh, as dinner for tonight at 10 p.m. Okay, so let's go back to calendar and this is gonna hop over here and it's gonna be opa. There you go, guys. 10 p.m. Awesome. So super cool stuff, guys. So uh, this is a really good foundation. But as you scale this, you can integrate that also with your email system. So or uh, WhatsApp message uh, system. So if there's somebody else uh, scheduled to be attending the event or dinner, it's going to send them an email saying, hey, the event has been changed. Here's the new date and the location. But again, guys, this is a more complex flow. Uh, I will also be creating a free course on that, guys. Uh, so where I'm going to be essentially creating a sort of a team of personal assistants, you know, that can schedule meetings for you, shout to people uh, through email and actually communicate directly to uh, people. And if somebody responds to email on the same topic, the AI will be handling the conversation for you, which is pretty awesome, guys. But, but as a beginner, let's focus on this uh, baby step number one as a beginning, all right? And guys, if you're asking, like, what the hell are AI agents even? Like, I don't even know what that means. So think of AI agents as your um, virtual assistants or employees or as a workforce, okay? And they are able to perform tasks on their own, okay? So... Uh, it's not like automation when this event happens, you go to this event and essentially it's a sort of a chain of events, which is a classic automation. But AI agents can actually um, on their own decide what to do when this happens, the best decision to take in this case and etc. guys. Okay, so you can though predefine the prompt, what we call a prompt for AI agent. Prompt essentially is a set of instructions uh, in terms of how you want the AI agent to behave, okay? So here I'm saying you are a Google Calendar Assistant. Uh, here we have, here we are setting a uh, variable for the date, okay? Uh, because, because my N8N account, uh, I believe, was created in Australian time zone, but I'm actually in Canada, Montreal. So I need to tell it that uh, my time zone is America, Toronto. Uh, because before that, I had a problem where it was scheduling events, but it was scheduling like uh, the day after and like in a weird times like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And that was because the account was originally created in Australia. Uh, so it was actually pulling the 
data from the N8N directly and by default setting Australian time zone. Okay, so here I'm saying that it has to be handled in America slash Toronto or Montreal time zone. And here I'm giving some instructions about how it should be structured for the time zone, uh, date rules, uh, interactions, and etc. guys. Okay, and here we have always use Toronto time zones, always create events immediately when requested. Okay, so essentially we are pre-prompting or giving some directions for the AI agent. Okay, uh, but I mean, even if you don't, even if you delete all this, it's still going to be able to uh, think and create these events uh, autonomously uh, or on its own. Uh, though there might be some errors like wrong time zones and wrong uh, placements for the time, depending on the uh, time zone set in your N8 and workflow. Okay, so that's essentially for that. And let's just kind of uh, jump into it and let me explain you how it works. So here we have essentially a um, essentially a, a trigger node. Okay, uh, essentially it gets triggered when chat is when chat message is received, which is right here, guys. Okay, so if I close it here. Um, the chat node will generate this pop-up here. If I open it, essentially it's responsible for triggering this chat node here, okay? And then it sends the user input or my input to the AI agent. Then it's going to be using these prompts that we just discussed. And then it's going to think about a process the data, okay? It's going to be using open AI chat model, okay? Because uh, AI agent node on its own will not work unless you, um, unless you add a chat model through here, guys. Okay, so it's mandatory. Uh, well, and it and will tell you, hey, hey, like you have a, a, a agent node, but you haven't attached any AA models, guys. Okay, so when using a models, you need to have your own API key, guys. And if you're a complete beginner, you obviously don't know how to do that. So you need to go to openai.com, and then when you log in, you're gonna go to API platform. Okay, and then you're gonna head over to dashboard. And then you're gonna click on API keys. And here you're gonna essentially uh, create new API key, name whatever you want, uh, name doesn't matter. And then copy paste API key in a safe location. And you get to see it only once. If you close the window and you didn't copy paste the API key, you will have to generate a new one, okay? And once you do that, guys, you're gonna bring it to open chat, uh, open AI chat node right here, guys. And here essentially you're gonna create a credential, okay? And you're gonna click on the create new credential here. Uh, here you're gonna copy paste your API key. Okay, uh, ID is not necessary unless you need it for uh, business needs, and that's all you need, guys. Just copy paste API key here, and your uh, ChatGPT API is ready to go. And same principle applies to uh, if you're using Gemini or Cloud and etc., guys. Okay, guys. Okay, so then we're using a uh, a memory node. Essentially, it's a context. So uh, I'm saving the five last chat conversations with chat GPT uh, just so it has a context to look back okay if I don't have it uh, if I uh, ask if I ask the chat something again uh, about the previous question it's gonna have no idea what I'm talking about okay so here you can preset if you want to look back to five or ten last conversations okay that's essentially a context window uh, or sort of a built-in memory uh, I do believe though it's a temporary memory if you refresh and start from zero it's going to be wiped again guys okay so if you want to have a uh, permanent memory you would need to use something like sql or uh or mongodb uh, and i believe they do have nodes for that so if i do something like mongo you have mongodb or we can have a or we can have sequels okay as well so this is actually going to be a permanent databases uh, the data will be sent to a database outside N8N to like MongoDB and then it's going to be stored there and now the chat GPT or AI agent will always have access to that database again it's good for more complex systems um, as you move from beginner to advanced guys and it can also create a course on how to connect AI agents to a SQL database or, or a MongoDB database guys if you're interested let me know down in the comments and I'll drop a course on that as well for free all right Okay, so now we're looking at the context if uh, if we have any previous context for uh, for AI agent, okay? And then we're gonna be essentially checking these events, okay? Based on the question, if I'm asking to modify or change, first it's gonna check the availability, first it's gonna check the calendar, um, then it's gonna then it's gonna check whatever the question asks. They ask to modify, delete, uh, or create create an event. So this is essentially 
events directly from Google Calendar. And it's super easy to create them, guys. They're all built in by default, as I uh, notes in and it ends. So if I click add note and I type something like uh, calendar, here we have like Google Calendar, okay. And so I do something like, yeah, so it's gonna be essentially this Google Calendar note, okay. So once I add it, here we have these event actions uh, for the Google, Google Calendar note, okay. So I have uh, create an event, delete an event, get an event, etc. guys. And once you add it, it's super easy to authenticate it, authenticate it, guys. All you need to do really uh, just here, create new credential, and you're gonna sign in with your Google account, and the entire thing will sync automatically, which is super, super easy, guys, okay? And that's essentially it, guys, and you're gonna be good to go with syncing your uh, Google cal Calendar events and data. So if you guys are a computer beginner, you might be asking, what even is a node, and what does it exactly do? Okay, so all these right here, these are nodes, okay? So think of nodes as a uh, building blocks of an automation workflow, okay? So this is a workflow. Uh, and this entire thing is automation, okay? And these separate thingies right here, each of them are called nodes. And each node uh, is responsible for executing its own action that is assigned to them, okay? So in simple terms in a way. And essentially then each node has a separate uh, list of its own actions, okay? So a lot of uh, nodes like Google Calendar, okay? They have their own dedicated nodes uh, integrated within N8N, meaning that it has already a lot of predefined key events and options by default that are commonly used, okay? Because you can also add other options, and these are all options essentially coming from the Google Calendar node directly, okay? So all this data is actually coming from Google Calendar directly. And in simple terms, all of this uh, lets you customize uh, on a higher level and how the node will behave and just really what kind of a data and results you want to get from a node. Or sometimes when you're connecting the nodes between each other, the next node is expecting a specific input or output, okay? Then this node should be uh, giving that type of data as an output to the other node, okay? So sometimes there's a specific way that you need to structure the node uh, in order for it to receive the data from the previous node, for example. And that's where the options will come in handy because you can modify it to match the expectation of the next node. And how you can add nodes, guys, all you do, uh, essentially, you right click here, you add a node, and here we can add something HTTP. This is actually one of the most common ones you're gonna be using quite a lot, uh, especially used to call custom APIs. If you wanna do like image generation for a Google video, or um, CDANs, or any other image gen platform, or if you wanna call uh, and send API requests to any other third party platform that doesn't have an official integration with N8N. So you would be using something like get request, okay, to get the data from the API. Here you're gonna enter the API's URL, okay, and then you're gonna do authentication and stuff like that, guys. And uh, that's essentially how you add a node. And then you're gonna essentially connect it to other node like this for example okay so that's how the nodes work and that's how you can add them you can disconnect them reconnect them okay uh, but again the how you're connecting the nodes uh should have a logic and pattern okay because the way you connect it that's the way it's gonna flow okay guys so but as a beginner uh, i believe this calendar ea agent is super friendly because we only have a the trigger node, we have the AI agent, and then we're connecting all these tools, which are essentially the same Google Calendar node, just with different events, guys, all right? And I'm including this super massive node for you guys, where I'm essentially explaining um, how it works, uh, what it does, the features, the setup, guys, how to use it, and uh, just some common troubleshooting uh, issues if you run into any of those guys, okay? But if you run into any other issues not outlined here, guys, just leave a comment, guys, and I'm gonna help you out personally, all right? And that's essentially how you can create your own uh, calendar AI agent in N8 and as a beginner, guys, okay? And don't forget to download this uh, free JSON template, which will be available just below the video in the description box. There's gonna be a link to download this uh, entire JSON template uh, and use it in your N8N, okay? And if you wanna know how to do that, guys, so you're gonna essentially create a new workflow. It's gonna be empty for you. Then you're gonna click on these three dots right here. Then you're gonna click on import from file and import that downloaded JSON uh, template 
and then you are good to go okay and then don't forget to um, add your credentials here you're going to click on create create new credential and sign in with google and sign in into your google account and it's going to do the rest for you all right and that's as easy as it is all right and guys i hope you enjoy the content uh like and subscribe if you want me to drop more value packed free content like this guys okay and again i'm open to any feedback or challenges guys um if you want to suggest a workflow or really challenge me on creating something custom uh let me know down in the comments guys and i'm gonna do my best to create that workflow for you guys okay and yeah guys that's it and i will see you next time as always